Oh my god, what the hell is that? I hear you say. Well, this is my rig up for tensioning the pulley on my motor for the fan. Motor, fan. The classic problem with this is you want to make sure that the force that acts to tension the belt doesn't have, have to push on the line of the belt. If it does, then it's very easy for it slip to slip straight in that way. So you kind of need something that wedges in from the side or turns it around. So what we have here is the motor mounted on that plate, which is attached by that bolt there to pivot so that this plate and this plate pivots around there so that this, that bolt and that form a triangle. As this gets longer, this, the triangle uh, opens out. And so this angle here moves that way. So what we've done is turn the motion, the, the sliding motion that way, the desire for it to push that way into a desire for this triangle to close. So the next thing is how do we make, how do we push against the motor here so that this side stays as long as possible and the belt stays under tension. Well, we could just push directly against that, but that would kind of defeat the purpose because we're basically trying to avoid pushing directly against that. We're trying to use leverage. So we've got a lever here that pushes this block, which is actually separate from the block that the motor is on that block is attached at the other side here. So these two hold this block to that block and form a, a pivot there to push this, this piece into the bottom of th this. So as I pull that way, it pulls that piece in, which pull, pushes these two apart, which widens this and tensions the belt. So what I've done is convert the lateral motion there into sideways motion, which I can very easily, easily control. I can you know, put a screw in to hold it in place. I can, uh, like a screw, say, you know, there. I can have a little piece of string that pulls that tighter, something like that. Um, but all that basically holds this in tension so that the belt doesn't slip and it doesn't fly off and doesn't the motor doesn't move around. Of course, the actual process of mounting this needs support on that. That's relatively okay. So I just thought I, you'd enjoy this quick update and more when I actually get a working fan.